What's up, everybody? And welcome back to Looking on My Big Tarot here, where I bring you the beauty, juice, and spiritual truth. I am your spirit guide host, Miss DC, and today, y'all, okay, we are coming back with another general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Oh my gosh. Shout out to Sagittarius. Okay, we are currently in Sagittarius season starting two days ago. November 22nd, all the way to December 21st. We end motherfucking Sagittarius season. And I love Sagittarius energy. Next to Leo energy, those are my top two signs. Sagittarius um, and, 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 and Leo. I said Leo. Leo. I love those two energies give me life. And they both fire signs. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no Sag in my chart. I do have a little bit of Leo, but I don't have no Sag in my chart. But I love the Leo energy, the Sagittarius energy. Excuse me. So, yes, please understand, like I said, um, this is not going to apply to everybody because all the Sages are not going through this. If you're a cross watcher or anybody outside the Sagittarius energy, okay, join in, tune in. Please utilize this information for the most positive source. Spirit told me to talk to y'all. So, Sag, I will be talking to y'all with my everyday tarot, okay? I'll also be talking to you all with my modern witch, as well as my emotional knowledge oracle card deck, okay? So, without further ado, Sagittarius, I'm talking to you. Let's go ahead and get your reading done, okay? Let's see what we got for Sag. Ugh, y'all just don't even understand. I love Sagittarius energy. Every Sagittarius I know, except the girls, I've only known, I think, like, one Sagittarius girl, and I was cool with her until she tried to do some fuck shit. And then I was just like, but the guys, Sagittarius, them Sagittarius men, I ain't even gonna say nothing. Just know <laughs> I love the Sagittarius. <laughs> I love Sagittarius. I swear I do. Okay. You're very close to achieving your goal. Go ahead, Sag. I ain't even mad at you. Nothing will come of this situation. Okay. And a look at the bigger picture. <clears throat> so Sag, what y'all, what y'all got going on right now? Let's 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 see what them Sag has got going on. <laughs> I'm I'm actually kind of excited to see the read for this Sagittarius energy. I'm really excited because I'm I, I I'm curious to know what is what's going on with my Sagges, okay? The Hierophant. So I feel like you're getting bad advice from somebody or something. Something is not giving you good advice or maybe you're feeling like that. But I feel like maybe either you're not getting good advice or somebody's not giving you good advice. But you're happy about it? Are you happy? Hold on. Let's let's the hermit. So you're in deep thought. Okay. I feel like you're in deep thought about something. You're in deep thought about something. I feel like you're in deep thought about something. I feel like it's something, it might be something that makes you happy that you don't need to deal with, and it's causing you to go into a hermit mode. I feel like you you, you want to be happy, but it's like you can't really be happy. But it's something about some, maybe you're not, it's like maybe you're not, it's like you're not, you're not getting good advice or maybe you're not doing what's spiritually right. Spiritually, you're not doing what's right, but you feel like it's making you happy. I feel like 
and you're just doing some really really deep introspection within yourself i feel like oh sad what's going on what's going on <laughs> king of wands so you got something on pause i feel like it's like you were super super passionate about something but it's just like i can't go towards it or it's just like this when i see like the the knight of wands i think the pause button like the pause button like like stop like you were very 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 passionate like a movie is going a movie is going and then you just stop it's just like you were super passionate about something and now it's just like halt it comes to a halt or it's just like a, a standstill possibly and i feel like it, i feel like you're possibly wanting to go towards somebody that you know you shouldn't be going towards or you're dealing with something that's or and it don't necessarily have to be a person it could be a situation you might be heavily involved in a situation that maybe you don't need to be involved in like for instance gambling gambling might make you happy it might make you happy to go in there and waste money or or use your money you know what i'm saying but you know deep down if i do this i could lose all this money and it's causing you to think heavily but then it could be a person as well so whoever it fits with whoever it fits with but whatever it is it's just like i feel like from a spiritual standpoint you feel you might feel like it's wrong but it makes you really really happy or it makes you whatever it is that you're doing it makes you really really happy but it's like maybe you feel like you know you need to stop love all oh. it's like you need to stop love oh i feel like i feel like it's possibly it, it looks like it's a situation where whoever this person you i feel like it's a person i feel like i feel more like it's a person you see this card wanted to pop out and that was the last card I see I opened up the deck and I seen this and then I pulled the other one and then I seen the tower in reverse. So let's get to clarifying because I want to see. So it says you're very close to achieving your goals. Nothing will come of this situation and look at the bigger picture. So yeah, I feel like you're probably just thinking heavily, doing some deep introspection on yourself. But I feel like it's a love relationship that you want but it's like you you know you, you it's like you can't have it and you know what sad just always like shit that's out of reach like you don't it's like it's like mountain dew is right here sweet tea is right here orange juice is right here and you have your pick but the water it's somewhere where you can't reach it. And it's like, I want the water because the water I know makes me happy. The water is what's good, but the water is what's furthest away. And you got everything else in front of you. And it's like, oh, that's not making me happy. This makes me thirsty. This make me go to the bathroom. This one, I don't get dry mouth, but it just tastes off. But the water is what's really going to sustain me. You know what I'm saying? But it's like the water is out of reach. I love my Sages. I really do. I really do. Sages have always been good to me. Like, I don't think I've, besides that one Sagittarius female, and me and her were like friends. We weren't one no, it wasn't no, no shit like that, but but she she was just like kind of on some cruddy shit she was on some selfish shit but all of the sagittarius men that have come into my life every single last one of them have been nice to me every single last one of them have been fair with me every single last one of them have taught me something every single last one of them have done something just positive in my life and i noticed that which is why i love the sagittarius energy the Sages have never failed me. You know what I'm saying? If any other sign has failed me, the Sag is the one sign that I can say 
has never failed me. And every time I get around a Sagittarius, my energy level is like boosted. You know what I'm saying? What is this Hierophant for my Sag? Eight of Wands. See, you getting some, it's like you, it's like you getting some bad advice. You're getting some bad advice or you're giving bad advice. I don't think you're giving bad advice, but I think you're, you're getting some bad advice. Something about communication. Maybe you're getting ready to get some bad news. I feel like you might be about to get some bad news or something that I feel like some type of communication is going to bring you down spiritually. I feel like something about some bad advice. Give me one more card. One more card, Spirit. The devil in reverse. You about to get some, I feel like you're getting bad advice on a person. I feel like you have a negative attachment possibly to somebody. Oh, with that devil in reverse in the communication. Maybe I feel like somebody is about to give you some negative information about uh, it's a negative. Okay. So it's like a negative. It's like bad. I get bad advice, bad communication, just some toxic, something negative. I feel like somebody is getting ready to tell you something negative or you're going to tell somebody something negative. I feel like you're possibly trying to detach. I don't know what, let, let me get one more for this. Queen of Wands. So I feel like something, it's something that you're very, very passionate about. And you got that cat right there. It's something that you're very, very passionate about. But I feel like you're, you're negatively attached to it. It's a negative attachment. It's a negative attachment and it's going to be communicated, I guess, or I feel like it's just, it's just a, a negative situation. Some bad advice. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. I don't feel good about this. I feel like there's somebody that you're very passionate about, but Maybe you're getting bad advice to them or they're giving you bad advice. Something is being communicated. But it's negative. It's like a negative. I feel like it's a negative attachment to someone. But usually them be the situations that make us the happiest or at least that's how we feel. What is this sun card? Ten of Swords, in denial, I feel like this is a hurtful situation. This isn't good, Sag. I'm sorry that y'all energy is like, the, the energy in his reading is like this because I came on this bitch happy. But it's like you got a tennis. it's like something I feel like is going to hurt you. Something is going to hurt you. Page of Wands. Page of Wands in reverse. One more spirit. Five of Cups. Let me see. So I feel like something that ultimately makes you happy Something that makes you happy is ultimately what's going to be, what's going to hurt you. Something that makes you happy is, is, is what's going to hurt you. Or I feel like maybe you're in denial about this situation and you're mad. 
the five of cups is like my mad card like you mad about it's like you mad about something and this page of wands is like you have an idea you have an idea about something you have an idea about something and you're mad at it it's like you have an idea about something and you're mad at it and it's like your energy is like drained it's like it's like something makes you happy but at the same time it's also draining you it's also making you upset it's also not allowing you to express yourself creatively Let's finish with the clarifying because possibly a, a, a toxic, I feel like you're going to get some communication about a toxic person or maybe um, I feel like something that it might be something that you're trying to detach from. I feel like you're going to get, I feel like some bad news or some bad advice if it hasn't come yet and it's it, i feel like it's gonna it's gonna make you really upset it's gonna hurt you a lot i feel like you're about to i feel like you're about to get some i feel like you're about to get some information that might that might hurt you what is this hermit Knight of Cups in reverse. This is, I feel like, this is a relationship. It's some type of relationship that you're in. But it's like a, what the fuck is this? Nine of Pentacles, not Knight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like you're giving to us you're giving to someone that isn't really receiving it's like you're giving to someone who isn't who isn't willing to receive one more spirit the emperor so i feel like you're giving to somebody who's not worth it. You're giving to somebody who seems like they have it all, but they don't. And this is causing you to go into a hermit mode, I feel like. This is weird. Sag, what is this Knight of Wands? What you froze on? This is really sad. super confused about this reading right now i'm like what the fuck is going on what is this knight of wands five of pentacles see so like a lack i feel like you about to lose uh lose something i feel like you about to lose something five of pentacles is like feeling like you you're lacking in in money or you're lacking in love or you're lacking in something of value and i told you you feel like you're lacking it and something is on pause family we got the ten of pentacles
Sag, are, are you getting, I, I feel like you're about to lose a family. You're about to lose family. Maybe a family member. And at the current time, it's 11-11 right now. Y'all, Sag, if you all lose somebody, my sincere, my sincere, my sincere sympathy goes to whoever needs to hear this because I feel like you about to lose somebody or you about to lose something, some type of family. I feel like you about to lose something. And I feel like it's, it's family, a lack or a loss of family. And it's like something is like on pause. So, damn, I feel like I I, I don't want to cry, but if I could cry, I would. But I don't want to. Let me get one more. Seven of Wands. You're defensive. I feel like you you're gonna be very defensive about something that you lose. Is crazy this is sad this is sad like what is this ace of cups let me just what is this ace of cups what is this ace of cups because this is like lost love like no more love it's all gone, you know, a drainage of love. What is this? It's a relationship. I feel like you about to lose somebody. Damn. I feel like you might be about to lose somebody. And I say this because I have sad friends that are, you know, that have family members or they have not just family members, but people that's close to them that are like, on their last straw, you know what I'm saying? And I feel that energy right now. I feel like this this connection that you have but between you and someone else, it's about to, the love is about to leave. It's about to be gone. Something is about to be gone, like lost. And it's gonna cause you, or it's already causing you this four of wands. See, it's a relationship. Look at that. Two of Cups, the Lovers, and the Ace of Cups. It's like two people finna separate. You know what I'm saying? Two people finna separate. I don't like this. Passion, fire, some type of flame. It's, it, I feel like the flame is about to be put out. Like, I feel like you're very, very, very passionate about something that's just, that's just not finna, it's just, it's not finna happen. It's just, ugh. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Not for my sages. Like, I don't like this. The Sages give energy, but it seems like the more energy they give, the less they have. You know, they're giving off all of this energy and it's like the less they have. It's like, where is my Sages energy at? When do my Sag get their energy? You know what I'm saying? What is this Four of Swords? All these cards won't come out. Hold on, y'all. Let me fix this up. Bro, okay, what is this for swords? What is this for swords energy? Six of Pentacles in reverse. So it's something from your past. Like, I feel like 
not not something from your past. It's like not some. I, don't, I didn't mean that's six of that's six of cups. This is six of pentacles. So it feels like some. I feel like something is taking a lot out of you. Something is is draining you. The magician in reverse. Some type of some type of blockage. Four of wands at home. So So we have the main energy is the four of swords, right? And so the six of pentacles is like you're giving a whole lot to your home. You're giving a whole lot to your home, but there's some type of deception, there's some type of blockage that's going on within your home. And it's it's really irritating you. It's really, really bothering you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like my sad just have a lot on their plate, but I feel like your home life is like currently being affected. I feel like you're giving too much. Maybe somebody is taking too much money from you in your home. Maybe a situation in your home is taking too much money from you. And it's like, you don't really see it or maybe there's just like a blockage or maybe you're not looking at the bigger picture you're only looking surface level but i i just didn't feel i don't feel good about this reading and you know what i'm gonna put all of these cards right here to the side and then i'm gonna get a couple of more cards and see what these other cards come out and say i'm about to put all of these cards that i just pulled to the side and we're not finna worry about these right now. I'm gonna put these over here. And I'm about to pull a couple more just for my sages. I usually don't do this, but I'm gonna do it for my sages right now. And the time it was just 1118. That was the that uh, address. That's the address to a home. Let's see what else. We got fast movement um, going towards something, going towards some type of truth, but having a hard time moving forward because you're in denial. I feel like you're in denial about something. You're having a hard, you're in, the, it's like, there's a blocked intuition and there's no progress. It's like you're moving towards something. It's like you got a lot of energy towards something that you know to be the truth, but at the same time, it's causing you to be less progressive. What is this chariot? Knight of Pentacles. So it's like slowly but surely you're losing. It's like slowly but surely you're losing energy. I feel like slowly but surely you're losing energy. Temperance. And I feel like you're indulging because of this. It's like you're really upset about something, so I feel like you're probably indulging in stuff that you shouldn't be indulging in, possibly drinking, possibly sex, possibly smoking. Um, Sag, what is this moon card in reverse? The four swords. See, the truth is, it's like you know something, and it's heavily bothering you, like you want to mentally disconnect from what the, whatever this is. See, this family situation, 10 of cups, this is something with your family. I don't know if it's your relationship with whoever it is that's close in family. Whatever it is, it's like you know the truth about it. You know the truth about family and it's bothering you. It's, it's like you know something, but you're, you're heavily bothered. You're heavily, heavily bothered. What is this three of wands? 
progressing work. You're having a hard time working. Oh, sad. You're having a very difficult time with work. You're not progressing in work. You're not progressing with your work. Nine of Wands, you're struggling to keep yourself together. See, you're struggling with work, I feel like. That's possibly that money loss that you was that we were talking about in the beginning. It's like whatever, I feel like, it, it's kind of like you about to lose, a, it's like a family member is about to be gone. And it's like you trying to do everything you can to save it, but it's just, it's just like you know, it's like you losing too much dealing with the situation but it's like you can't let the situation go and it's it's interfering with your work it's interfering with you you having a hard time keeping yourself together what is this ace of sword three of pentacles some type of i don't want to say competition but ace of wands in reverse Ace of Swords. We got the Ace of Wands and we got the Ace of Swords in reverse. Emotional. Emotional stability. Like, I feel like you don't, it's like you're, you're, it's like you're trying to be happy about something, but, or you're trying to keep your emotional stability, but uh, I'm about to message my friend. I'm about to message my friend because I feel like my friend might be going through this and i'm about to message my friend right after i get finished this but this is not just for my friend but this is for any sagittarius that might currently be going through something i feel like you all are trying to keep yourselves together but you have um blocked intuition i feel like you're in denial about something it's like when somebody passed away it's just like no it, it can't be it's it's not it's just not it's not it's not it's not but it's like it is you know and I'm sorry, Sag. If you lost somebody, if you do lose somebody, my deepest sympathies to you. It's never, it's never easy losing somebody. And like I said, I connect with these energies because I know people that are currently going through similar situations that that what I'm reading, which is why I know what the fuck I'm reading is true because I've had people that I've read for that come at me and say, yo, like what you said actually was like, that's legit what happened. And I'm not saying that to be funny. I'm not saying that to be all, oh, I know what the fuck I'm talking about, but I for real, for real be knowing what I'm talking about. Cause the shit that I, the, the information that I get come from spirit, it don't come from me. It don't come from me. So, um, Sag, if you need a, a more in-depth personal reading, cause this, this was the extended. I generally don't do extendeds, but this was like a little extended, a mini extended. But um, yeah, this is sad. And that's all I'm going to label this is, is. This is sad. Oh, um, let me go ahead and end here, y'all. Listen, meditate pray whatever you need to do until then give this video a thumbs up subscribe leave a comment below let me know what you think and sages i love y'all peace